So today I'm going to talk about uh, ways of depicting an experiment and uh, the basic notion is that there are different stages of designing an experiment from conceiving of it, so from conception to the physical layout of the experiment, how you're actually going to carry it out physically in terms of spatially locating flasks or petri dishes or uh, individuals or whatever. And then um, then there's the statistical layout. And many times it will help uh, to do all three kinds of diagrams, but at least the physical layout and the statistical layout. The conceptual layout is uh, something I want to talk about in this particular video. And it can be helpful sometimes, again, it's really primarily for someone trying to understand your experiment to understand um, the big patterns in it. And so uh, a conceptual layout is um, nothing more than a pretty diagram uh, that conveys the essence or the important features of your experiment. So, for example, and, and, and the conceptual layout should always be driven by what your question is. So, you know, we've talked about uh, questions in ecology quite a bit. So I'll talk about this one again. This is one we've actually mentioned before. Um, are populations locally adapted? Are populations locally adapted? And, of course, the way we look at this is with the classical reciprocal transplant experiment. So we would put individuals from each environment in every other environment. And that will allow us to look at the performance of the local type versus an alien type in each environment. So for example, if we have a mountain gradient, we can draw it like this with our conceptual diagram. And let's say we have uh, three populations, a population of a species that exists up here, population of, a, of the same species that exists there and a population of the same species that exists down here. So what would a reciprocal transplant experiment look like? It would involve transplanting individuals of each population in each environment with a control planted back into its own environment to control for the transplant effect. So we would draw these arrows right in every direction and here we would draw that one as well as this one it's not the most beautiful elegant diagram I could certainly do better in PowerPoint with a little bit of time but basically this is showing all the transplants that we're doing in this particular experiment and it's showing that all possible combinations of population and environment exist because I am moving plants. So the arrows are showing movement of plants from one place to another and I've got all of the possible errors, arrows in this. There should be a total of nine arrows there. Okay, so this is a conceptual layout of the experiment. And, you know, conceptual layouts um, may not even be necessary for a particular experiment, so uh, there's, they're simply there to present the overall design of an experiment. All right, so that's all I'm gonna talk about in this particular little video, shortest world record short video.